talk about, we talked about how testosterone can tank as a result of the leaky gut. But what's also important to understand is that the gut itself is where we take the nutrients in that builds all this stuff, right? That builds the testosterone. Like for instance, testosterone actually starts from cholesterol, okay? And, um, you know, so both the cholesterol that we uh, produce from our liver and dietary cholesterol. So that stuff that comes, cholesterol that comes into the gut can end up as testosterone. Um, but there's other things that the body doesn't produce. I mean, the body does produce cholesterol through the liver, but like vitamin K, um, zinc, uh, vi vitamin D, all of these things are important in terms of you know, creating testosterone, creating good blood flow, and that has to come in through the gut. That's how those nutrients come in. So that's another way the gut is so important when it comes to both hormones and erection biochemicals. So if we go back over here, once again, gut tied to the hormones, and if I come over here a bit, the erection biochemicals, right? These are all connected. So in other words, you know, you're not going to make dopamine if, unless you bring the stuff into your body that is required in order to build dopamine, like the appropriate amino acids, right? You're not going to build testosterone unless you get the appropriate stuff. You're not going to build oxytocin. You got to br bring the appropriate nutrients, right? The nutrition into your gut for that to happen in the first place. And that's another reason the gut is so important. And that's why it's cut, it's linked here to sexual vitality, right? The, the feeling of, you know, sexual vitality, your libido, how strong your libido is. Well, that's highly related to your hormones, right? And those hormones are highly related to the nutrients you're bringing into your gut. Okay. So really, really important. You know, if you're, if you're finding things like, um, your testosterone is low, or say your your uh, semen loads, you know, like your ejaculate loads are a lot less than they used to be. You're probably not bringing in enough of the nutrients that your semen and sperm need in order to, um, you know, produce those loads. I mean, there's other factors involved, but this is a huge part of it. You can't build anything unless you have the building blocks to build them with. Your body can't build testosterone unless it has the building blocks. It can't build sperm or semen unless it has the building blocks. And those building blocks are primarily taken in through nutrition through the gut. Really important. That ties this together as well. Oh, one thing I want to say real quick is that... If we look over here, we get back to the impact point matrix. I didn't follow it all the way around, but gut, sexual vitality, morning wood. So if morning wood isn't coming on, okay, the gut is a really important place to look at, okay, because that's primarily where testosterone is formed and also has a huge influence on your blood flow. And blood flow and testosterone are basically what make up morning wood. It's the simplest form of erection. Okay, so it's tied there too. Morning wood is heavily tied to your gut. All right, now let's talk about the microbiome, which is just fascinating in and of itself. If you would like help with your unique and personal situation from us, I put a link below that will explain all the different ways that we can help you get and maintain superior stage four rock solid hardness and lasting power both permanently and naturally at any age. Make sure you like and subscribe for more tips to attain elite level bedroom performance, and I will see you in the next one.